नमस्कार आई अमित कुमार वेलकम यू ऑल इन आई एम डीज डेली वेदर ब्रीफिंग सो इफ वी सी द ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स ऑफ वेदर विच वॉज ऑब्जर्व ओवर इंडिया देन वी कैन सी दैट वेरी हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज ऑब्जर्व ओवर केरला देन हैवी रेनफॉल वॉज रिकॉर्डेड ओवर कर्नाटका तमिलनाडु एंड अंडमान निकोबार इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द हीट वेव देन सीवियर हीट वेव कंडीशंस प्रिवेल्ड ओवर वेस्ट राजस्थान देन हीट वेव वॉज ऑल्सो ऑब्जर्व ओवर ईस्ट राजस्थान एंड वेस्ट एम पी देन ओवर आइसोलेटेड पॉकेट्स हीट वेव वॉज ऑब्जर्व ओवर गुजरात मध्य महाराष्ट्र वेस्ट यूपी हरियाणा पंजाब एंड जे एंड के द सेम पैटर्न वी कैन सी इन दिस मैक्सिमम टेम्परेचर्स ग्राफ You can see that there are uh, there are some places over West Rajasthan where the temperature was in the range of 46 to 50 degree Celsius. In Barmer yesterday, 48.8 degree was the highest, which was recorded over India. Then you can see that uh, over the same region of Gujarat, East Rajasthan, West MP, and some parts of Madhya Maharashtra, there were some packet pockets of uh, uh, severe weather or means heat wave. which was observed and then over isolated places over punjab and haryana also it was observed the same thing can be concurred from this maximum temperatures departures map so if we talk about the highlights of today's uh, briefing then there is a depression over central parts of bay of bengal and it is very likely to intensify into a cyclonic storm by 25th morning and by 26 uh, 25th uh, evening itself it will further intensify into a very severe cyclonic storm and then it is expected to move north northward and cross sagar between sagar islands and kepupara that is sagar islands is in west bengal and kepupara is in uh, bangladesh so it will cross uh, in between these two locations around on 26th midnight as a severe cyclonic storm then uh, if we talk about heat wave conditions then heat wave to very severe, severe heat wave conditions will prevail continue to prevail over north parts of northwest india for next 5 uh, days so these are the today's uh, synoptic systems uh, as we have seen that there is a depression over central parts of bay of bengal then there is cyclonic circulation over southern kerala then there is cyclonic circulation over साउथ ईस्ट राजस्थान एंड देन देर इज ए ट्रफ फ्रॉम दिस साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन टू छत्तीसगढ़ देर इज साइक्लोनिक सर्कुलेशन ओवर नॉर्थ ईस्ट एम्पी ऑल्सो एंड वी कैन सी ए डब्ल्यू डी ओवर ईरान सो इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द डिप्रेशन ओवर सेंट्रल बे ऑफ बेंगोल देन इट एज द यस्टरडेज वेल मार्क लो हैड इंटेंसिफाइड इन टू ए डिप्रेशन टूडे मॉर्निंग and now it is continuing as a depression and it lays over central bay of bengal it is likely to con- uh, continue its movement in northeastward direction and intensify into a cyclonic storm over east central bay of bengal by 25th may morning and subsequently in a severe cyclonic storm over uh, to by 25th night then it will move nearly northwards and it is likely to cross bangladesh and adjoining west bengal coasts between sagar islands and kepupura around 26th may midnight as a severe cyclonic storm the same thing can be seen in these forecasted uh, cyclone track so you can see it is lying over central bay of bengal currently then its movement is nearly northward and then it is crossing between sagar islands and kepupura on 26th midnight and this diagram shows the uh, quadrant wind distribution that what will be the intensity of winds uh, when uh, along the track of this cyclone this we can uh, see in our fisherman warning graphics also that we have issued warnings for uh, day one for central bay of bengal that there will be uh, gale winds uh, of speed of 60 to 90 km per hour and it will be gusting to 110 km per hour and as the cyclone will be moving northwards then this area of high wind zone area that will be shifting towards north bay of bengal and then around 27th uh, between on day 3 it will be over head bay 
so fishermen are advised not to venture into these areas as there will be very high wind which will be prevailing over these areas as it is predicted to become a uh, severe cyclonic storm then over somali coast also there are winds of uh, the range of 45 to 55 kmph uh, gusting to 65 kmph if you talk about the rainfall forecast map for next 5 days then you can see that as the system is in central bay of bengal and it is predicted to move northward and so you can see that the eastern part of country and the northeastern part of country they they will be getting a very good amount of rainfall during next 5 days so if you talk about day 1 then uh, in southern peninsula as there is a sizer it is expected that over kerala sik and ck there will be uh, f- fairly widespread that is rainfall will be over many parts of the region and most parts over kerala the rainfall over kerala will continue and uh, it will be uh, happening over many parts of kerala for next 5 days then uh, in east and northeast india as we have seen that as the system is coming closer to indian coast so it will the rainfall intensity will increase from day 2 and there will be rainfall over uh, gwb that is bengal and northeast india over most parts of uh, this uh, region for next 3 to 4 days if we see this thing in our rainfall heavy warning uh, maps then we we have issued a very heavy rainfall warning for kerala for day 1 that is today then heavy rainfall warnings are issued for tamil nadu karnataka and coastal andhra pradesh and andaman nicobar for uh, day 1 then on day 2 we have issued heavy rainfall warning for uh, coastal districts of uh, gwb and odisha uh, north odisha then on day 3 uh, uh, that is on 26th may we have issued extremely heavy rainfall warning for uh, gangetic west bengal and northern districts of odisha and heavy rain, very heavy rainfall for uh, tripura mizoram and manipur and heavy rainfall for assam the rain, heavy rainfall activity over kerala will continue for next 4 days then on 27th and 28th uh, our this region uh, gwb and uh, northeast region will continue to have a uh, very heavy rainfall and over northeast region assam meghalaya and uh, tripura mizoram and manipur region uh, we have also predicted that extremely heavy rainfall will occur over 27th and 28th uh, may if we talk about heat wave warnings then as we have shown that over northwest parts of the country the heat wave conditions will prevail for next 5 days and even the warm night conditions will be prevailing for next 5 days so uh, we have kept west rajasthan uh, in red color west rajasthan haryana uh, east rajasthan west mp and gujarat region in red color for day 1 on day 2 even punjab will come under red color warning and uh, this red color warning for punjab haryana rajasthan and west mp will continue uh, till day 5 f- itself only for west mp there is a slight chance of that decrease of temperature will be there but still we have given orange color warnings for it so thank you for joining with us